week okay today we're doing a car tour video and i'm not trying to brag or anything but i just thought it would be a fun video i've seen a few people do car tour videos and i thought they were really interesting to watch and i thought you guys might enjoy it so i did just purchase a 2014 nissan sentra and i traded in my cadillac because it was getting almost a hundred thousand miles on it and i wanted to get something new because i don't have to worry about it breaking down and my other car wasn't under warranty anymore so i wanted something new that was under warranty that was dependable especially after having the baby i wanted to have something that i didn't have to worry about breaking down especially if i was with him so let's just get into the tour so here is the inside of the car you have this is the driver's side door you have some wood grain trim then you have your handle over here down here is your window switches um, you can lock and unlock those so other people can't roll them down that are in the car. Then if you come around here, um, I don't really even know what this button does. I just got this car like a few days ago, so I'm still learning everything. But this is for your mirrors to change your rear view mirrors. And this is for your trunk. Then down here you've got, this is really cool, you have an eco button and you have a sport button. The eco button is good if you're sitting in traffic so you can help save gas. Um, then you have the sport button that's if you want to do a little drag racing or something like that you want to do a little extra oomph um but no really the the purpose of this well i guess you could use it for drag racing but the real purpose would be like if you were trying to get over getting on the interstate give you a little extra push then you have your traction control then if you come around here on the screen you can change it it shows you how many more miles till you need to fill up um It'll tell you your average um, miles per gallon, all that good stuff, the temperature. Then you have some controls on the steering wheel. This one has, um, this is how you change the stuff on the screen I just showed you. Then this is for your radio. Then you have your phone. You can hook it up to your Bluetooth so you can answer your phone, make calls there. Then on this side you have your, um, what is it, cruise control. Then over here, I do have the navigation and satellite radio. You can change from satellite, regular radio. You've got your navigation, um, maps. It's got all kinds of cool functions on here. The different apps. Um, it does all kinds of cool stuff. You can link it up with your Facebook. It's got voice commands. There we go. I don't know, it just does a lot of really cool stuff. I'm still kind of playing with it, figuring out um here's your phone then down here you have your temperature you got the dual temperature you can do different side you can have a different temperature i know that that was really cool because if some person one person's hot one person's cold you can change it however the person wants and then down here we have the heated seats there's just the shifter the coolest thing about this is the push start i'm like obsessed with this thing you guys it's like legit the coolest thing ever i don't even have to ever get my keys out I can keep my keys in my purse and I just press this when I want to start it and I don't even have to get my keys out to lock the door either which I'll show you that when we get outside so here's just kind of like an over pan of what the inside looks like I don't have a lot of stuff in here right now I have my umbrella down there um, my purse is in here of course then here's what the back seat looks like got my jacket back there it's just got the leather seats and here's the center console if you open this up, you can charge something else. You got another little outlet for that. Then down here you have a USB. You can actually use this as like an FM transmitter so you can play your iPod or music that's in your phone. And then what else do we have? Um, up here we have the sunroof. Here's the little switch for the sunroof up here, your interior lights. Then we have a compass on the rear view oh and the coolest thing i forgot to mention this you guys i've got the camera um wait i gotta put it in reverse so when you put it in reverse there we go you got your backup camera that's so cool i'm still trying to get used to it because it's really freaky to like look at that and try to drive backwards and i'm still getting used to not actually turning around and looking but it's really really cool because you guys don't even want to know how many things i've backed into so that will definitely help um, but that's just kind of like a little overview of the inside and I'm going to take you guys outside so you can see what the outside looks like. Okay, so here's what the outside looks like. It's 
gray. It looks like a silver, but it's actually gray. This is the lighter gray. They do have a silver and a dark gray too. But this is the thing on the door handle I was telling you guys about. This is how I lock and unlock my car. All I do is hit this button. There's literally like, well, there is a keyhole, but I don't even have a key to it. That's weird. I didn't even notice that. But there's literally not even a key to it. I just have a little like thing that locks and unlocks it and I don't even have a key to it so that's really cool you don't have to worry about locking your keys in the car or anything like that because as long as you have the key on you or like in your purse then you can start the car and you can unlock it so I'll come over here here's what this the side view mirror it's got the little blinkers on it which I really love and here's what the rims look like come around here to the front I think this car is gorgeous it like kind of reminds me of a Lexus or something when you see the back it really does look like a Lexus but there's what the front looks like. It's got the chrome grill. Um, it's got little fog lights underneath there. I'm going to go around to the other side. Sorry, guys. I'm losing light and my battery's dying. So I'm trying to do this like super fast. And then on the top, it's got the sunroof. Here's the back. Isn't the back so gorgeous, you guys? Like, I'm in love with this car. Doesn't it kind of remind you of the Lexus? It's like the old... Um, Lexus ES300. That's what the tail lights remind me of. But it's just really pretty. And then for the trunk, there's a little button under here. And just pop the trunk up like that. And here's what the trunk looks like. There's Bentley's car seat. I gotta get it installed. I haven't got it installed yet. And then this is the little thing that goes under the car seat does it so it doesn't mess up the leather. That's just a suitcase that I have in there for stuff for work. But it's got a pretty spacious trunk. It's kind of hard to tell on here. But it's a good sized trunk. And um, oh yeah, there's a little pull latch in here. So if anyone ever like tries to kidnap you and stuff you in the trunk, you can just pull that and get right out. So really nice. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Cupcake Shark. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see more awesome videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.